Hello everyone, happy Friday. It's almost the weekend and we got new deals to tell you about. That includes free games as well, so don't go anywhere. All you need to know about games coming up, we've got that too. This is our key shop. My name is Winfell and you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash Winfell underscore. Please do join us. We talk and play video games. We play a lot of Dead by Daylight, a lot of Halo. Bits of everything really. I've just installed Sea of Thieves. Looking forward to getting started on that. Now first up today I have Midway Arcade Origins. It's got an AK score of 6.0. It's free to play on Xbox Live for 15 more days. Go try it, go play it. I mean, it's an arcade game, so you know what you're getting yourself in for. There's no reason to hate them. They're just a bit of fun, just a bit of retro classic fun. So go play it. Ignore the score. A B simulator is free to play on a humble choice. You've got 17 days to claim that as well. Um, yeah, go play as a B, I suppose, and go collect pollen and all sorts and stay alive, I guess. I, I don't know, I've not played it, I've got it, but I've just not played it. If you have played it, let me know what you think about it. Tell me if it's worth installing. On Humble Choice, I think it's, you know, you get what you get. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on PlayStation 4 is the last card I really played a lot of. Um, ends in 17 days. Yeah, it's just got it's fast paced. you got different weapons to use, and you know, SMGs, assault rifles, that sort of thing. You know, calling airstrikes, you know, different kind of perks. It's called uh, Siberia 1 and 2 is free to play on GOG. I tell you, what, these are fantastic games. These are some of my favorite games. I've not played Siberia 3, I really want to, but scores have always been mixed on that one. Well, these are classic puzzle games, third person, wonderful storylines, great characters. They're going to keep you busy for a long time. They're not easy. Pretty much. F1 2021 is on the 16th of July, it's 20% off. So that's a pretty good deal. Obviously, it's got updated for the new season. You know, drivers, sponsors, that sort of thing. You can race in Formula 2, I think. It's got split screen racing as well. Couch racing, I think. And it's got online PvP. Lots of reasons to buy this, especially if you're a racing fan. Warhammer 40k Battle Sex is on the 22nd of July. It's 43% off. It's Warhammer 40k. Strategy game. Hope it's good. I have my doubts about it. But, you know, for the Warhammer fans out there, um, you might be really looking forward to it. I am. I'm looking forward to it, but I just... I hope it's good. Uh, the Sims 4 Cottage Living DLC um, is 44% off. It's on the 22nd of July as well. Why are they still making The Sims 4 content? Who knows? Must be still very popular. I've never played it. I don't think I've played The Sims since the first one. I think. And even then, I was more of a black and white guy. Um, but yeah. If you just need more DLC for The Sims 4, well, here you go. Orcs Must Die 3 is 13% off on the 23rd of July. In this one, Orcs Must Truly Die. You set up defences, that sort of thing, and walls, and you just stop Orcs. Basically, you're just defending your point. That's what it's all about. It's like a tower defence game. Super exciting. Uh, Battlefield 3, 79% off. Wow, Battlefield is so good. My favourite is Battlefield 2, but I can see why Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 would be people's favourites. Stop playing Battlefield 5 because let's be honest, it was terrible. But yeah, go back to the times when Battlefield was actually good. And it's worth it as well, especially look forward to Battlefield 2042. A lot of people have jumped into 3 and 4 again. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, 86% off. In Assassin's Creed game, you use stealth, use force, it's up to you. You just rinse and repeat, really. That's what Assassin's Creed's all about. It's repetitive gameplay, but not for me. But I mean, the franchise is still growing, so somebody out there must buy them. I'm not going to lie, 86% off, I think I'm tempted. God Eater 2 Rage Burst, 89%. Do you know what? I've heard good things about this one. It's nice just hacking slash game, bit dodging and evading in there as well. For me, these kind of games are quite generic and not really fun. But that's just me. So, yeah, if you want to uh, just try something different over the weekend, and maybe you just play it for one weekend. God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Still Division, Normandy 44. Go back to 1944 and fight for Normandy. It's 91% off, and that's really good for a grand strategy game like this. You've got hundreds of units at once. You really have to plan out the uh, the upcoming battle to maximize potential and determine victory. Love these kind of ones. That's our key shot. My name is Winfield, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.